Okay, in this video we want to show you how you can uh, print out some reports and so that's the last tab over here if you click on or click on a certain section that you want to be in and click on the reports tab and you'll see a list of these reports and um, uh, you can go through all of them and kind of see what there is for you to print out but uh, the one that used, gets used the most probably is individual student report. I will mention sometimes this screen is all the way up like this or or all the way down and so people kind of get lost on where it is so you just have to kind of find it there and grab it back up there but if we look at individual student report um, like if you want to send out a progress report or something and there, there's two little tabs here criteria and layout if under criteria uh, you can see different things we can select output type usually you, you put it into a PDF document sections uh, you can click on the selected class which is would be the, just this physics or you can do active classes which would do a re, uh, individual reports for everybody in all of your classes students you would um, select enrolled students or you could just select certain groups and or students now you can't do this unless you have actually set up student groups over here so for right now if you didn't set up student groups you'd have to have enrolled students uh, checked and we'll do that for now I can uh, do it by student name or student number. If you want to keep it anonymous, I can do student number, and I can also then sort uh, randomly if I want by the number. Abbreviate, I can put the abbreviations for assignments or categories, whichever one I'm putting in there. Usually I just put in assignments. And include, I can include what uh, final grades, assignments, comments, or categories. So I'll just include the final grades and the assignments in this one. I can put in a date range of uh, how for what period I want the uh, grades for or I can choose a certain term or a certain week or month last week or last month or or whatever and uh, then I can click on run report and it'll take a little while but I can either save the report or I can open the report and I'll open it and uh, you'll see here um, there's let's see I think it's there's one thing I want to show you first on that that was the criteria I want to go to the layout here for before I uh, do that. So I can go to layout and I can uh, change the report title whatever I want here. And page breaks are on students so it'll put a different student report on every single page in my PDF document. I can include a top note or I don't have to include one. I can include it and if I include a note I can bold it and I can type in something here that I want to. So any kind of top a note that's at the top of the progress report. I can include a uh, bottom note if I want to. Bold. I can bold it if I don't have to bold it if I don't want to. And then uh, down below here I can click on a signature line. I can include a signature line. Some people want to send home progress reports and um, with the signature line so the parents sign it and bring it back and they give extra credit or something however they do that. And so that's how I do my layout uh, also. So now I'll click on the run report and I can open the report and um, move this over here and so here's a PDF uh, individual report for this student number 10758 whoever that is okay and then there's the second student and the third student and so on and I could print all those out if I wanted to but we try to we kind of frown on printing out uh, that many progress reports since they can access these grades online anyway it's kind of a waste of paper but every once in a while you might want to send out an individualized report for someone who might be struggling and so it might just do one or, want to do one or two at a time and so if you know who that student is if it's the fourth one you could print out uh, page four on this PDF document so that's how you could do an individualized one and not have to print them all out okay the other way then to do just one single individualized report of a certain person to generate just one you don't want to generate all of them let's say like we just did well to do that um, you have to have set up student groups and um, I have student groups set up anyway for my classes but you might not have a reason to do that so you could set up a special group and we'll go ahead and do this if, if we come down into your student groups you might not have any of this stuff in here any groups so let's just come in here and uh, select on um, put a plus and uh, add set click on this untitled set and we'll call it uh, progress reports and then this group that's part of that set we'll just call reports okay now I want to put all of my students into that so that I can just always select one of those students to make a report for so 
Um, I'll click on that and remember to if you watch the group video uh, you have to be in the student section to select your student so I click on the student tabs I'll click on the first one and I'll shift click on the set last one and so I'll highlight them all and I'll take them all and I'll drop them all into that uh, right there so that they'll all be in that uh, particular group and that might take a little while okay so now they're all in there so if I click on this triangle in front of it, you'll see that there are all, all those people are in there. So if I go to reports now, um, let's say over here in this group, I, I have uh, highlighted um, a, like Stephanie Munt. Okay? So now if I go down to my individual student report, and I can now, instead of having just enrolled students, I can do selected groups and slash or students. So if I have that selected, then it's going to make out a report only uh, for her. And so I can still do the criteria and layout and everything I want. I can run the report. And then I can open that report. And you'll see that instead of having a whole bunch of individual uh, reports generated, there's now just one, just for uh, this uh, one person. And I can print that out and uh, have her take that home. And uh, so that's the important thing about the reports there. If, if you want to do just a, a single report for a single person, you must have them in a group over here so that you can actually select them and then be able to collect, uh, select or hit the uh, selected group uh, radio button there. Otherwise uh, you'll just be generating reports for everybody and you'll have to print out that certain page. So it makes it a little easier if you can just in each of your classes set up a progress report group and then you can always uh, do individualized reports. Hope that helps.